Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret. And welcome back to I'd Run That in a War, where you guys get to help choose my loadouts, and I get the opportunity to run them in a game. And before we get started, I'd Run That in a War Survey 12 is in fact live at this time. You can find a link to that down in the description box below. It will take you to the newest survey with three questions, as per usual. Fill out your favorite, or your favorites, and hit submit, you'll be all entered. I'll include a reminder at the end of this episode if you want to wait and fill that out. So, in the meantime, I'd run that in a war, episode 11, and this took place at a bit of a different venue than I'm used to playing at, and that was in Arlington, Texas, AT&T Stadium for Jared's Epic Nerf Battle 4. See here on my shirt. It was quite the event, with 4,000 people playing, yeah, kids, adults, man, it was a crazy time. It was a lot of fun, though, and I loved seeing everyone come out to play with their blasters, shoot some foam in a few different rounds. It was some good, clean fun, except for those times when the kids kept shooting me in the face. I was happy with the footage that I recorded, but the audio was a bit loud, and that does happen when the music is directly overhead. Not that it was bad, I actually enjoyed most of the music because Monster Cat is awesome, but it was pretty loud, so I tried to make it um, not too bad for you guys. And as far as the usual little sound effects that I'll throw in when I get a tag or get tagged, I'm not going to do that this time because it turns out when you keep getting shot by hundreds of people and you obviously, you, you forget to take your tags, right? I mean, you're just in the moment and you, it's not that you choose not to take your tags, it's that you forgot. Sure, let's go with that. I don't think that's worth my time to go in and throw at every single little thing. A little bit different here. Also, usually if I shot a dart out, it probably hit someone. Who cares? So with that being said, let's get into the loadouts, because before I went there, I asked you guys some very important questions. The first one being, which vintage blaster should I field? The options were the Nerf Fast Blast, the Nerf Lightning Blitz, the Nerf Tech Target, and the Nerf Triple Torch. Yes, they're all Nerf, so I'm going to leave that off from there on forth. But, survey says... Triple Torch. If you're not familiar with the Nerf Triple Torch, don't feel too bad because I didn't know about it until probably Walcom made a review about it. It's hard to find these days, but it's cool. It takes micro darts and it can take the old school uh, arrows too. It's the original Nerf Jolt. Everything after is a reskin. It's the original Nerf Jolt. Jolt reskin. Yeah, make the joke. Come on. I, I set you up for it. It's funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. But I did use it. Of course, in the Nerf Jolt slash Microshot round, because that's what it was. And how does it perform? Uh, com comparably, actually. I didn't want to... This is not something you want to open at this point, though. We're happy it still functions. I'm very gracious to Walcom and Captain Xavier for letting me borrow this for the event. So, how does it fire? Take a look. <laughs> called this episode, I'd crawl that in a war because I did more crawling than I did running. Oh well. The next question I asked you guys was, which end strike blaster should I field? The options were the end strike deploy, the end strike long shot, but the front gun only, the end strike maverick, and the end strike secret strike. And the survey says, deploy. Well, that's, uh, that's really creative, guys. The deploy. The butt of many jokes. Cool. With a whopping majority. 
Thanks a lot. I'm kind of disappointed that the long shot front gun was the least popular. I kind of wanted to run with that one, but that's fine. But it was also cool that someone else was using a deploy, so yay, deploy squad. Though I came with a very special deploy, the whiteout deploy to be specific. Thank you, Jose, for lending me this. He trusted me to bring it all the way to Texas and all the way back without ever claiming it for myself or losing it. Which is more dangerous, I don't know, but he can tell you because he knows. And of course, as well, in honor of the deploy, I only brought six dart magazines because who cares? And I, I had them on a bandolier because I'm a, I'm a fancy man. And the deploy, actually, this one is not terrible, but it's also not like amazing. It's a deploy. Take a look. What kind of range do you have? question I asked you guys was, I don't know what category this is. Pick your favorite. Because, you know, it's hard to group things sometimes, and I'm not that creative. The options were the Battle Camo Battle Scout, the Vortex Proton, the Reactor, and the Zombie Strike Rev Reaper. The highest quality of choices you will ever see. And the survey says... Reactor. Some of you guys were actually really kind when you saw this question. You said, Brett, I feel bad for choosing the reactor or the proton, so I'm not going to choose those because I don't want you to lose the special ammo. And I thought, well, that's very kind of you. And then there was a whopping majority of you guys that chose the reactor because, you know, that's fine. The one that you can't actually find the ammo for anymore. You can find discs in stores, but not ballistic balls. Though this is ultimately my fault, isn't it? Now, someone's actually sent me a new inbox reactor not too long ago, and that was very kind of them to do. They're getting harder to find, you know, in package. You see them all the time in Goodwill, which is why I found 17. Um, so I'm not short on reactors, but I needed some ammo. And ultimately, I broke the new and package one out of its packaging so I could use it. Because that's the kind of person I am. I'm sorry if that meant a lot to you, but that's what I do with my blasters. And did I lose all the ammo? Well, not entirely. I brought six balls, and I lost four. So if you um, were at Jared's Epic Nerf Battle 4 and you walked away with four ballistic balls because you thought they were rival rounds, good for you. I can't use your ammo either, and my life was really hard out there trying to scavenge my balls back. But people tried, and I appreciated that. So, a reactor with a rival heavy round? Fantastic. What could go wrong? Take a look. There, track. Yeah, I've been told it's pretty cool. Oh. oh What's going on, Dad? Good to see you. Oh, gosh. Hey, you have any spare reactor balls by any chance? Yeah, let me just dump some of these in there. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a little different. I'm good. How are you? Our flight was delayed. I heard. How's the cab? He's getting food, just like I should be. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're here, dude. At this point, I'm getting shot from everywhere. I'm yeah. retreating. I don't you know how you feel. I'll stay here. Here. I'll take all your fire for you. Oh, you got it. Thanks, Brad. Oh, what is Bro. 
problem. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm back in. What brings you here? I am Brett with a beret. You found any green reactor balls recently? I'm running low. Ah, never mind, I'm out. Oh my gosh, a ball. How did this get on top of me? <laughs> Look out! And that's gonna do it for this episode. Once again, a huge thank you to everyone who participated in this survey. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys continue to fill them out and torture me with new loadouts every single time. I know, it's partially my fault, but you guys get the final say, so you're the real champions there. And thank you to everyone who I actually met at Jared's Epic Nerf Battle 4 and got to play with, talk to. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and I'm definitely considering going back next year. If you want to see some more of my footage from it, um, with some more of a vlogging style footage too, uh, I'm working on a video of that right now, so I'll have that out next week if you're interested a little bit more in how our weekend was. This was Captain Xavier and Bray traveled to Texas and we, yeah, we, we could have done better, but we, we had a great time. I am working on my background too. You usually see instructions behind me. The instructions on clear background is in the work, so sorry about that. Thank you again, everyone who participated, and if you'd again like to participate in the newest one, link in the description box below. I don't exactly know which game it's going to be for and when that's going to be, but I'll include a, an end date down there too when I figure that out. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you later.